Alrighty, Libras. So this is going to be your reading for October 31st through November 2nd. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to get straight into your 72 hour forecast. This is going to be general. So everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically. So definitely make sure you're viewing this with a level of discernment. And if you are someone who does want a personal reading with me, all that information will be listed below. Okay. Libras for no for October 31st through November 2nd, please. Libras, summer rising and Venus for October 31st through November 2nd. Okay, so let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. So the first thing we're going to cover is the overall energy. And what we have representing now, we do have the Deceit card as well as the Eight of Pentacles. Or excuse me, Ten of Pentacles. I believe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so the Ten of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, um, the overall energy for the next couple of days is you guys having to address some lies that may be being told within your relationship, okay? Your person could be not... Your, your person may not be fully disclosing certain things. Um, for others of you, I'm getting a sense where like at a job, maybe it may not be love at a job. They may be like withholding finances or trying to find a way to take more money out of your check. For others of you, this could even be um, making sure like if you are trying to sign like a new home deal or new home deal, new home contract or like a lease or something like that. You want to definitely make sure wherever you're trying to live or trying to get a place to live that they're not trying to pull the wool over your eyes with like hidden fees or something like that. But um, I'm just getting a sense where just for a lot of you, it could be a relationship or a marriage. This is more of a marriage for some of you or a long term relationship where there has been lies being told. And you are having to either decide whether or not you want to stick things through or just let the situation be. Um, also, for some of you, you already knew about this deception up until this point. And you could be now wanting to speak your mind about it or clear the air with this person because you may have some questions about why this may have happened. Now, when it comes to love specifically, the energy we have surrounding that, we do have the heartbreak card as well as the four of cups. So for a lot of you, it could be very hurt by a situation that you may have gone through within your love life this is looking like a again this may have been a breakup due to third party situations or um somebody just not taking in consideration of your feelings and this may have put you in a weird space um i'm also getting a sense that somebody who broke your heart may be trying to offer you their feelings now and you may not be here for it you may not be willing to hear what they have to say to you because you just feel like look you knew what you did. I don't really want to hear what you have to say. All right. And clarifying this four of cups, I do have the five of cups. So yeah, a lot of you, you can't move on from whatever happened in the past. That's kind of difficult for you to do so. Now, when it comes to the energy surrounding your career and finances, we do have the yin and yang card. And we also have the three of pentacles. So for a lot of you, I feel like in your career sector, there's a need for you to make sure that you're being balanced in that approach, making sure as well that you're not letting your career spill into your home life. When I say balance, like making sure you have a good balance between home, home life energy, okay, or home life uh, related things. Um, but also I'm getting a sense as well that there's a need for you to be Willing to see the pros and cons of like certain things that you may be trying to work on. So you may be like somebody trying to invest in business or something like that. 
And there may be this business field where you feel like, okay, yeah, I can make a lot of money going into that. But there may be a lot of cons that come with it. Um, or there may be certain things that you need to evaluate. So make sure before you put yourself into anything financially that you are evaluating just everything it may come with. Uh, I also feel like as well, there's a need for you to, again, like I said, have a home life work balance. Because for some of you, you work so much that it may take may take up a lot of time uh, with what you have going on here. For some of you as well, you do want to start something new, but you may feel like you're already doing too much that that may be an issue with you taking on more. But I will say make sure you actually have a team behind you if you are a business person. Instead of just being a one person, uh, man, woman, whatever you are, um, there's a need for you to have a team behind you. Okay, now when it comes to the advice I can give my Libras, I do have the thinking woman or the thinking man, excuse me, and the hangman. So with this, there's definitely a need for you to really decipher through your thoughts, make sure that you are actually coming up to some sort of conclusion as well as to how you can get yourself out of this stagnant energy within your relationship. Um, and for some of you within your financial situation, but there's definitely a need for you to formulate like what you're going to do moving forward. Um, if you do have to put a pause, put a relationship on pause for some time to get yourself together, I feel like you should do so as well. But for others of you, when it comes to a relationship that you want to deal with, you need to make sure before you take this person back, especially if they did, you know, do something kind of messed up, you, you are going to have to decide whether or not you can move beyond that. Now, when it comes to the last card we have in this spread, this is going to represent the obstacle that may come up. And I do have the angel of love and the devil card. Okay. So for some of you, somebody who you're definitely emotionally invested in on a deep level, this relationship you may have with this person may be very toxic or borderline toxic. And when I say that, it may just be so full of sexual energy, but when it comes to communication, when it comes to you guys being on the same page, there's problems with that. For others of you, it's like a lot of bad things may have taken place within the relationship, but a lot of you stick it through because you feel like, okay, either you can't get someone else like this or you feel like um the good outweighs the bad but there's definitely a need for you to end any sort of toxic relationship that you may have with someone even if you have a family with this person your family may be picking up on the fact that this is toxic and that's not healthy for anybody to grow up in especially if you have kids um but yeah, and then also the obstacle may be getting the toxicity out of the relationship, like ending that cycle of toxicity. Um, and also like starting over beyond that as well. So it, it definitely looks interesting. Now let's talk a little bit more about love. The overall energy we have for that, we do have express your love and heart to heart conversations. So with this, I am getting a sense that you will have a chance to really speak your mind through a conversation you will have with someone who you're dealing with uh, in the next couple of days, okay? I am getting a sense that for some of you, you will clear the air with this person and you guys may actually try to give this a chance and, you know, get back to where you guys were or even the relationship evolving into something newer. Um, for some of you, if you're single, I'm getting a sense that there's a need for you to release the energy of a past person so you can welcome in new love. Um, and actually like getting to know people and like actually putting yourself out there to have conversations with people because you could actually build with somebody if you actually put yourself out there. For others of you, like I said, you need to make sure you guys are on the same page when it comes to your perception of the situation and exactly how you guys are going to proceed moving forward. Now, when it comes to the advice for your love life, we have twin flames and it says your passion ignites. And we also have that clarified by, it says, Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. So there's definitely a twin flame connection here. Um, for a lot of you, there's a lot of learning that needs to take place within this relationship um, and also within yourselves, like separately. But there's definitely a need for you to also understand that there is cycles that are taking place in our lives 
And there is no need for you to keep resisting change within your love life. If there is things that you just cannot deal with, you need to allow spirits to remove it out of your life. And I'm just going to be straight up. Okay. Now, before we get out of here, the last thing I want to cover is the message from your spirit guys. We have a postcard message from them and it says, dear issue, going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards. Now's the time for you to act, to stir up some energy and put those plans into action. There are many windows of opportunity that open, but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Today, be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out to be even better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life. So just do it. And this is you guys need to understand that if you want things to change, you have to go the extra mile. If you want to self-promote yourself in a job, you have to go the extra mile. That's in the um, Think and Grow Rich book by Napoleon Hill. You should read that if you are somebody who is into financial, um, financial, I forgot the word, it's skipping me right now. But definitely read that book if you are somebody who is needing like a push in life, especially financially, I will say that. Um, but yes, you have to go the extra mile in life if you want to see some changes happen. And um, your spirit guides are really requiring that of you. Now, that's going to be it, Libras. Thank you so much for watching this. I really hope that I was able to give you some sort of guidance or clarity. If you resonated with this message, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely make sure you book your appointments. That information will be listed below. And I will see you later. Bye, Libras.